Hello and welcome to Cassette Beasts, where we are setting off on an adventure with our friend Kaylee. Uh... Right, uh, there's some basics I gotta show you first. I hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. Um, uh, I guess so. You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike. Except, you know, if the bike transformed into a pastel horned devil. And also, you're the bike. You see that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel, and it's gonna get aggressive with you if you get any closer. So, you're gonna get closer, of course. Well, naturally. Let's go. And, um, pay attention to these orange squares. They are your action points, or AP for short. Most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP for a move, you won't be able to use it this turn. Each party member gets 2 AP each turn, and an extra one if they land a type advantaged attack. You can plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker low AP moves. Let's go for a smack. And a spit. You've taken a bit of a beating, but your monster form can take it. The green bar represents your monster form's health and the red is yours. If a form loses all of its health in a fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health, the red bar. If both of us lose all of our health, then We'll have to retreat back to Harbour Town. Got that? Yep. Right. Let's crack on. There we go, a bit of a stronger attack. That did it. Alright, Sonic Boom for the uh, Serenade form. An AoE ranged attack. And also, we got some resources. Yeah! Nice work! That elevator should be functioning. There'll be a switch around here to turn it back on. Well, I already know the switch is in here. Hey! Great! Let's head on up, shall we? I'll let you take the lead for any more fights. But don't worry, I'll be sticking with you from here on out. All right, Kaylee is now our partner. Serenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. 
they don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. And we don't know much about the serenade yet. Follow Kaylee's directions. Alright, will do. Um, oops. This way. And... Um, we get to fight some traffic crabs. I've taken some hits. But, um... Kaylee is still fine. Oh, come on. Focusing on me. Missed. Oh. If that had hit, I think we would have gotten them both. Oh well. That did it. And the uh, Candavel got the raised arms. Raises the user's ranged attack. And we also got some plastic. Do you need a break? We can rest here if you'd like. These bonfire pits mark areas that you're safe to set up camp in. It gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. That's exactly what I need. So let's do this. I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland has a bunch of great places to camp out. My da would drive the two of us to the countryside and we'd stargaze together. Camping with you makes me nostalgic for that time. Let's get going again. Aha! Uh -huh. Get some more experience points here. See if we can uh, level up. We'll focus on the spring heel for now. Aww. Luckily, accuracy down doesn't really matter when you uh, get up close and personal like that. It may matter for the uh, candy attack though. We'll see the uh, bonbon blast. Wow, didn't miss. Nice. We got some metal. I think it's metal that you need to trade for the stickers. Come on, it's this way. Alright, let me just get up there. There'll be more monsters about, but we can take them. I haven't seen you around before. Let me guess, you washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh, 
Is that a cassette player you're holding? Here, take these. Ooh, rewind times three. Nice. Let's not go that way just yet. There's a new kind of monster here. Hello, traffic crab. Hopefully this will go pretty smoothly. Just one lone traffic crab. Walls absorb a certain number of incoming hits. Type advantaged attacks immediately break walls. Yeah, it's too bad that we don't know. Well, we don't really have very many types of attacks currently. And, um, I don't think any of these is advantaged against plastic. I mean, what would be... Like, um, what would have a type advantage against plastic? Acid? Hey, we got some plastic! Do you see that monster? There must be a way to get it to come over here. Let's actually go do this before we get into more fights. Okay. Take these. Now we can capture monsters, or record them. There's something about the monsters on New Wirral. Well. When weekend, their essence can be, well, recorded to cassette tapes. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does, and that's good enough for us. Let's record and then you can do some damage. Ouch. Yay. Dominoes see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights, such as lamps. And we don't know anything more about them yet? Whether a recording succeeds or not is down to chance, however, Several factors affect the probability of success. How much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you dealt it while recording, and how much damage the person recording it took. Buffing your attacks, or debuffing the target's defenses, can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal the target and improve the odds in your favor. As long as a monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. You can give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory. 
so this is how you can customize the monsters you have. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single, ta a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained in a few ways, by filling tapes experience point bars from chests or caches you find, or from certain merchants in Harbour Town. Okay. Now, try switching to the tape you just recorded. Okay. Not my favorite kind of monster, but... And that's how you get yourself new monster forms. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. You with me so far? Right. Now, let's finish this bug off. So, as long as you are recording a monster, it can't flee. But, um, yeah, if it takes too much damage when you're not recording it, then um, it can flee. Or, you know, even if it takes the damage while you're recording and then the recording fails, it can flee. Yeah. So, um, oh, Domino thought a ranged attack. And we also got some materials. Um, is this meant to happen? Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them beyond just being able to take their shapes. Don't panic. Mothwing Glide. You can now hold A to glide across long distances. This consumes your stamina. Sorry. I should probably have warned you but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. We can use this glide to get across that gap right there. Accompany Kaylee to the broken pathway. Okay, will do. But first... Now that we have the ability to capture monster forms, let's use it. We'll get the Carny Viper. Despite its screening visage, the Carny Viper isn't actually a friendly creature. It is very territorial and will attack anyone who approaches that it deems a, th a threat, which tends to be everything and everyone. Can be found in Habitan Outskirts, Habitan Beach and Habitan Outskirts Caves. It's nice that if we're like looking for a particular monster, we can view um, on the map the areas where it can be found. Let's just finish this fight. Poisoned characters take damage at the end of their turn. You poisoned me. Mm -hmm. Not nice. 
Yeah, we really need to end this battle. Air type attacks blow out fire type targets, reducing the strength of their future attacks. Cool, so that's basically attack down. Yeah. And we did it. Nice. Uh, Can Devil got bite. A melee attack that heals the user a little bit. Serenade got provoke, prevents opponents from directly targeting the user's allies for three turns. Dominoth got wallop, melee attack. And Carny Viper got toxic stab, a poisoning melee attack. And then we also got some resources. I would like to find a fight where we have the uh, the dog type creature alone. Oh, well, accompanied by a traffic crab isn't so bad, I guess. Let's see if we can capture it. Bomb bomb. Oh, I... Ah, uh, such a low chance of actually recording it. Characters with intercepting intercept all attacks directed at their allies. Yeah, I thought that, um... I would do that so that their attacks wouldn't mess with my chances of recording. Oh, that actually consumed the tape, even though it failed. Uh, let's do Sonic Boom. That ought to do quite a bit of damage and uh, increase my odds of successfully recording. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's much better. We got it. Pom bombs are universally considered to be one of the friendliest creatures of New Wirral. If it weren't for their habits of accidentally setting anything and everything on fire, they would make quite good pets. Nice. And once again, oh, can be found in Harbor Town outskirts. And that's all we know about them. Okay, now we just need to win the fight. I'm uh, going to get me some HP back. It's too bad that my friend there doesn't have the ability to do that. Kaylee could use... Well, actually, Serenade could use some more HP. Oh, Revenge Strike for Connie Viper. Chance to be used automatically when hit with a melee attack. In flame for pom bomb. A fire ranged attack. So like a fireball. And we also got some plastic. Um let's uh go camping. Yes, please. Kaylee engages you with an enthusiastic discussion on your favorite dog breeds. I'm uh, not really a dog person, but okay. Now, let's go to, well, 
where we were going. It was over here somewhere. Um. Oh, I think it was here that we were supposed to glide. Oops. <laughs> um. There we go. Now I had the correct timing there. What's that? Oh, okay. That'll enable us to get up here from down there. Huh? What's going on? If this is because of monster activity, we better stay sharp. Let's go. Okay, I want that. That. Dandelion. So let's do it some damage and hope that we succeed. The monsters in this game are so cute. Air-type attacks can uproot plant-type targets, disconnecting them from the source of their nutrients, the ground. Characters with AP Drain gain one fewer AP each round. So yeah, the uh, dandelion now has the AP Drain status on it. Yay! Got it! Dandelions are loyal, defensive guardians. They're typically found standing at the entrances to important caves in the grassy plains of New Wirral. If you find one with no cave nearby, it may be a hint that something is hidden. And we don't know much else about it. See if we can uh, do a little bonbon bon blast and sonic boom. Maybe um, in this battle. Not quite. The dandelion has quite a bit of HP on it. Well, let's heal me a little. was that? The dandelion got elemental wall. Sacrifice 20% of HP to create a wall that will absorb up to 3 hits or up to 3 turns. And we also got some wheat and wood. Okay. You felt that one right? What? What is that? Was this always here? So this is not normal? I've never seen anything like this before. Has this always been buried here? Investigate the strange structure. I was considering um ending the episode here, but Huh? Is this a train station? It should be okay to take a look around, right? Uh, we are going to have a boss fight here. 
Mm, I kind of wanted to include it. This will just be a bit of a longer episode. Smells like burning metal. Okay. I hope you don't mind. Ooh, dock leaf. Gives the target healing leaf status for three turns. Well, since the uh, Serenade has the Provoke um, ability, I'm thinking we may want to give the healing to the Serenade. Makes sense, right? If it is going to be taking all the attacks, then it's going to need some healing. So we'll give it the dock leaf. Now it can provoke and then the turn after put the dock leaf on itself to heal. Yeah. I like that. Alright. Uh, let's also save. Because we are about to go into the boss fight. Uh, can you feel something in the air? Is that you, Mordred? Come closer, child, so that I may see you one last time. This is... this is... The long conflict has drawn to an end. I am afraid he has defeated me truly this time. I think this is an archangel. We need to leave now. This isn't like the other monsters. We are not safe here. What happened to you? No. You are not my kin. You come for me once again. Sword in hand. Oh no. A broken spirit. We have taken some damage, but if we switch forms, I can be the uh, Viper. And Kaylee, you can be the uh, dandelion. There we go, all fully healed. Um, toxic stab, obviously. We wanna poison, um, the boss. And increase our defense. Oh. Unlike other monsters that spend AP to use moves, Archangels accumulate all their AP until it reaches 10. Once an Archangel reaches 10 AP, it unleashes all that power at once in its unique angelic attack. To survive, use your move strategically to either set up a solid defense in preparation 
or defeat the Archangel before it reaches enough AP. Okay, well, we are going to spit and Kaylee rewind. There we go. I am not gonna die here. Not like this. Do you hear me? This isn't the end for us. It can't be. I refuse. We're gonna fight this thing and we're gonna do it together. Ellie and Kaylee's hearts act as one. <laughs> Aww. When your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse to become a singular, more powerful beast. The closer you are to your companion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. Keep an eye on your fusion meter, meter though. You can only fuse when this is full. As a fusion, you gain 4 AP each turn instead of 2, allowing you to make use of your more powerful moves sooner. You also have access to all the moves of both tapes combined, and your stats are added together. Alright, so Toxic Stab And um, now that it's got full AP and it's going to do its angelic attack, we'll do the elemental wall to absorb it. And another toxic stab. We are wearing it down little by little with the poison. Viper learned Sharpen, raises melee attack. Dominoth got Taunt, sends the target Berserk, forcing it to use only damaging moves for its next two turns. And we got a lot of stuff too, fused material, upgrade, um, instantly upgrades a tape by one star. And also a bunch of materials. A lot of wheat. Uh, how did we, um, I don't know. Your stamina increased by 20%. You can now glide for 3 seconds. My time is drawing to an end. Why have you come to this wretched place? I went away off this island. I see. There is a way. There are none who know the path but I. I require a vessel and you require a guide. Rebuild my strength, and in turn, I shall lead you from this land. 
a vessel. Very well. Hear my song. Okay, we're listening. The path most long, and the rest of the song is too quiet to make out. Are you okay? What happened? You blanked out for a second there. We should get out of here. A lot happened at that train station. I guess we should probably talk about it? Yeah, about the Archangel. Archangels. Supposedly, when the first unlucky swords washed up on the shores of New Wirral, they thought the monsters here were angels. And, um, and some of them wrote of other entities too, greater than the others, creatures that look and feel wrong. Logically, they called these other creatures Archangels, the highest ranking among the Order of Angels. Of course, when people learned that they could fight and defeat the regular monsters, they lost their angelic allure. Well, they've had a bunch of names over the years. Angels, demons, devils, ghouls. We just call them monsters now. It's a good catch-all term. Those other creatures though, like the one we fought, they're still archangels to us. We don't know what they are, no one has really seen one for a long time. Looking at that thing we fought, it's hard to explain. It felt like I wasn't viewing it correctly, like trying to watch a movie through binoculars or something. Sorry. I'm making some assumptions here. We're all from different worlds after all. <laughs> you might not know what movies are. Oh, I've seen plenty of movies. You okay, grand. I've been in New Whittle for three years and I've still not completely learned to adjust my um cultural references when I talk to new folks. About us using <laughs> Oh yeah, that Fusion is a rare phenomenon known by the rangers. There are fused monsters in the wild, and supposedly the leader of the rangers can do it too. In the right circumstances, two people in monster form are able to unite and form one powerful being. I guess the right circumstances? Include nearly being killed by an archangel. It felt strange. In that moment, I was sharing a body with you. And the thing we became was both us and not us at the same time. Uh, I've uh, never fused with anyone before. I certainly wasn't expecting to fuse with someone I barely know. It just 
kind of happened in the heat of the moment, right? Sorry. Talking about it is a little awkward. Well, it helped us defeat the Archangel. Yeah! I guess you're right. Now that we've done it, I have this weird feeling inside me. Like a door has been opened that I didn't even know was there before. I feel like I'd be able to fuse with you again, if we ever needed to. So, let me get this straight. That Archangel, Morgant, her memory is inside you now? And she knows a way to leave New Wirral? If there is even a chance that this can lead to a way off this island, and return people to their homes and their families. We owe it to everyone on New Wirral to find out. You and I! What do you say? Are we in this together? Sure, let's do this. Fusion is now available in regular battles when partnered with Kaylee. Fusions you form with Kaylee now have plus 5% at its strength. Building relationships with your friends is really important. The strength of your relationship directly affects how strong you are when fused together. You can get closer to someone by completing their quests and by battling alongside them. When the time is right, you can take a break at a campfire or in the cafe to level up your relationship. If an archangel gave you that vision, then you need to find another one and you need to be strong enough to stand against it when you do. Land of Confusion. Locate Archangels to complete Morgante's song, then follow the clues it contains to find your way home. The rangers have a training program that'll help you become strong enough. Let's begin by getting you a meeting with the ranger leader. She'll be at the outpost in the park right about now. Head to the outpost in the park to sign up to the rangers. Alright. We'll do that. Um, this episode has already been plenty long though. So, um, we'll go and uh, find the ranger leader next time. For now, thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.